It's the new Mercedes-Benz C-Class, a hugely significant car for the three-point star, not least because it's sold 2.5 million of them since the fourth-generation car was introduced in 2014. So what's new? Not the platform, the new C sits on a heavily revised version of the outgoing car's underpinnings, but is physically bigger in every respect bar height. Significantly the new C borrows much tech from the current Gen S class, including the basic layout and concept of its interior. The engines range from mild hybrid four-cylinders to a plug-in petrol with a diesel on the way. Rivals? The BMW 3 Series and Audi A4 are the big two, but there's also the Tesla Model 3, Volvo S60, Alfa Romeo Giulia and Jaguar XE to think about. Yep, the basic architecture of the new CS dashboard is shared with Merck's luxurious flagship. The 11.9-inch portrait touchscreen, pinched directly from the S-Class and standard on all UK cars, is pretty intuitive and packed with too many features to list. Merck's Hey Mercedes voice assistant gets cleverer with every generation, it's not quite Alexa, but it's close, and is the safest way of operating the system while you're driving. Over-the-air updates mean the system ought to get better as time goes by, too. You'd expect a Mercedes to be comfortable, and the new C doesn't disappoint. The seats and driving position are spot-on and it's very quiet. Pity some of the interior materials let the ambience down, and that despite being generally bigger than its predecessor, the new C isn't very spacious relative to its competition. More on all that in the interior section. We most recently tested an AMG line spec C-Class, which, as standard, comes with sport suspension and sits 15mm lower than standard. In this setup it was competent enough, plenty comfortable the majority of the time while also giving a hint of ability when pushing on. It's arguably happier on motorways than it is on any worse for wear B roads, on occasion it felt a little too hard, possibly due to the 19-inch alloy wheels ours was wearing. Shame, really, that the adaptive dampers our European counterparts get aren't available over here. UK spec cars also don't get rear wheel steering, but we didn't miss that too much. It felt well weighted in our hands, steering precisely and confidently into corners. Comfort is clearly prioritized, as is the Mercedes way, but that doesn't mean you can't have a little fun, too. Full details on the driving tab. From launch there's a choice of four, C200 and C300 petrols, and C220D and C300D diesels. The C300 petrol and both diesels have 2.0 liter engines, while the C200 makes do with a little 1.5. All are mild hybrids, featuring a 48 volt battery and integrated starter generator motor that recoups energy lost under braking, using it to assist the engine at startup and when accelerating. Buyers now also have the option of a petrol plug-in hybrid with an electric range of over 60 miles, while a diesel plug-in will join the lineup in 2022. Other new CS on the horizon include the AMG C63, which we already know will be an all-wheel drive plug-in hybrid with north of 600 brake horsepower. We've tested a couple of C-classes now, including the 201 brake horsepower C200 and C220D, along with the 261 brake horsepower C300D. The former is fine but sounds a bit reedy when you're pushing on, while the latter is arguably one of the finest 2.0-litre diesels you can buy right now. Refined and punchy, a great match for the new C and its standard fit 9-speed auto, if not as lovely as BMW 330DS straight 6. Prices start from £38,785 OTR for the entry-level petrol C200, making it broadly the same as its competition. As standard you get a wealth of tech, including a high-resolution 11.9-inch central media display complete with Merck's latest generation MBUX media system, heated front seats and wireless smartphone charging, a reversing camera, and a huge array of driver assist systems. From there on trim levels follow the typical Mercedes formula, with the sporty-looking AMG line with more kits setting you back an extra £1,380. Premium models start from just shy of £43,000, while Premium Plus, starting from £46,700, adds 19-inch 5 double-spoke alloy wheels, panoramic sliding sunroof, head-up display and Thermotronic 4-zone automatic climate control. Want the complete package? The range-topping C300D AMG Line Premium Plus will set you back £52,125. 
the new C-Class appears to strike a good balance between the BMW 3 Series dynamism and Audi A4's refinement and quality, and there's a lot to like. It's packed with S-Class grade tech, rides and handles astutely, has a comfy cabin and the electrified 2.0-liter diesel engine is one of the best around. That said the brakes are a bit odd, it's not particularly spacious relative to its competitors and parts of the dashboard and interior trim feel disappointingly cheap. If you can look past all that, it's an assured choice. Well-mannered, refined, and impressively comfortable. The mild hybrid helps to improve drive around town, while it pulls strongly when accelerating onto motorways, all the while remaining quiet and composed in the cabin. Handling, too, was suitably impressive, although the C-Class arguably acquitted itself better on the motorway than on B-roads and about town, where potholes, ruts and speed bumps proved a menace. As previously mentioned, this may have been down to the sport suspension, 15mm lower ride height and 19-inch alloy wheels on UK roads, but generally this is a fine riding car and comfortable car. Still, the steering itself is direct and well-weighted but not brimming with feel, as is the modern way, but it's perfectly adequate for most everyday tasks, only when driving it hard on B-roads are you likely to want anything more.